Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining me again. You see, we're back in the garage. Yeah, vacation time is over with. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of hoping to be a little further along on, sorry, Hubert, on Hubert here. Uh, but, you know, it's December, and December comes holidays, and then <laughs> stress of life, and Christmas time, and Merry Christmas, by the way. You guys will probably be watching this video. It'll be actually be the New Year, so Happy New Year. <laughs> probably won't have this video down for another week or so. I've still got vacation videos to, to edit and go through, but uh, yeah, Christmas time's over with. I'll have to say that, yeah, Christmas was good to me. I hope Christmas was good to all you guys. I wound up getting a few things, and uh, one of them I think you guys already seen was this beautiful ring light that my uh, daughter and my wife got me for Christmas. And then, talking to you guys on a Sony AX53, which was a gift that wife and I went in together to get each other, so, so we can document um, our vacations and, of course, bring you Hubert and Simon. Uh, you guys actually have seen a couple of videos uh, with this, because I've used it a couple of times, and I'll have to say, probably the most impressive thing with this uh, camera is the quality of the zoom. And uh, I'll show you guys a couple little things here, but I couldn't believe how far this thing zooms in and actually it's still crisp and clear. Uh, it's got some type of uh, lens that bounces around, uh, like a, what they call those, a Gambola lens or something. Uh, it just helps steady the shot. But uh, yeah, if you see this guy on the boat here, I believe those are tattoos on his arms. <laughs> but yeah, the zoom on this quality is really good. And then there's the new to me, Hero 7. I actually bought this myself as a Christmas present to myself. <laughs> But uh, I've always been shooting with the Hero 4s, and uh, one was a black and one was a silver. I'm still going to be using the silver, but I donated the, the uh, black to my friend Doug. And uh, I'll try to leave a dis uh, description down below, not a description, a link to his uh, YouTube stuff. If you guys are into knives and swords and stuff, he likes to give a review on everything. And he's pretty knowledgeable when it comes to steels because he's been in the tool and dive um, industry all his life. But yeah, go check that out. Hopefully, uh, you'll be seeing some of my old camera on his videos. <laughs> but yeah, enough jibber jabber. Uh, let's get back to why we're here. Hubert, winter time. I'm still kind of uh, a little disappointed here. I can't say really disappointed, but it's bugging me that his uh, balance. It's bugging me that his uh, apron doesn't line up. So I'm going to uh, try to take care of that right now. And uh, kind of show you guys what I'm doing with the apron to make it uh, removable and how I'm bolting it on. And if I like this, I'm going to do it on Simon because I, I didn't do it on Simon that way. And, you know, Simon's more built for speed, so I not really care too much on the aspect on how he looks. I mean, yeah, I want him to look somewhat presentable, but Hubert here is going to be uh, a, little, a little different than Simon. It's actually, like I said, it's the daughter's car and... Uh, we're gonna hope to have some shiny paint on this one. And uh, the color we're probably gonna go with this is turquoise. It was the uh, color they used in the early 60s on the buses and the Beatles. And uh, it is kind of pretty. We're gonna put a little flake in it. And it'll be my first attempt at painting cars. <laughs> I bought uh, Simon, I just kind of sprayed some flat black paint on there. Uh, the creamer is just a, a rattle can, but I did spray the uh, flat black. I used a uh, product called Zero Rust on him and I haven't really seen it on the shelves. I think I've seen that on eBay a few times but it seemed to hold up. It's uh, 18 years old and I brought it back with some armor all. But back to enough of Simon, we're back to Hubert. So let's get to grinding and welding. Where's my seat? Probably one of the best things I've ever bought. <laughs> I used to kneel down and everything. Kneel down. That don't sound really good. <laughs>
well there, a little hammering, a little cutting, a little grinding, a little welding, and I'm a little happier. It's not exactly perfect, but I think we, we got something to work with here. It is, a, it is a little closer here. See that? And I think uh, I probably got a little bit of play here with the fender. The fender was uh, damaged on shipment. We probably got a really good deal on it. So I might need to massage the, the fender a little bit, but I got some work to do on the inside. I wound up bringing some cardboard home from work uh, so I can shape the panels and uh, get the inner inner floor uh, rear, rear package tray uh, taken care of. But yeah, what I wound up doing is, uh, probably noticed I got a bolt here and then a bolt over there on that side and I, I welded some, it's probably, <laughs> it cooled off quickly, I just got done welding that. Um, but I welded some washers uh, to the uh, apron to reinforce it a little bit. That sheet metal can be a little thin and then uh, I think I want to um, probably grind those off. But yeah, it's coming along. Let's see how the uh well, I got some work to do on this too, but latch, get any work to post the latch. Yeah, actually the latch I think would probably shut. But we're gonna prop it open so this one's gonna stick out a little bit more. Just give us a little more airflow. We'll run a little bit hotter of the power plant. Nothing like what I'm running at first. We gotta get Emily used to driving a standard shift. But it will uh, put my old IDAs on it. And uh, I think one of the next videos I'm probably gonna do is uh, probably I'll show you my IDAs. Now uh, there's a couple of uh, tricks you can do to help with the uh, fuel flow and help the uh, carbs hold more fuel. So yeah, if you guys are really interested in that, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. But yeah. Yeah, move on to the next project <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for that and uh oh yeah one thing before i go uh just a little small review on the uh, sony camera there but the only thing i um would like to upgrade to make a screw on fisheye lens just to give it a little bit more of a wide angle i don't know if you notice and if you even watched my cruise <laughs> um, video but uh I'd like to have to show a little bit more. I'm so used to filming with the uh, GoPros with the really big wide angle that uh, it, it doesn't take much when you're sitting here filming yourself to get you and, and the family in. And uh, I haven't gotten much of a review here on the Hero 7. I'm sure there's probably plenty out there on, on YouTube because this is actually the first time I've uh, filmed with it or recorded with it. Uh, um, so yeah, we'll see how that footage looks. So yeah, as always, keep shifting those gears. See ya. I was just